Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Azadez, and you're currently watching my playthrough of Home, a unique horror adventure. Um, this episode might be a little longer than the 30-minute episodes of the last one, or generally around there, because I've been playing this all in one shot, so I have no idea how long those episodes are going to be. But either way, uh, I have a feeling that we should be able to finish this off in one shot. We just got out of Norman's place. There are currently three doors. Weird. Four, <laughs> four doors attached to this guy's wall for Norman's place. With our houses. Um, I don't know. But anyway, we should be able to get the finish of this game, seeing it told us to please set aside an hour and a half to play it in one shot. And that's what we're going to do. So, I had the wrong gate. This I had the wrong gate. This one was locked. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, just found out that Rachel, whoever Rachel is, the significant other of our individual that we play as currently, um, was seeing Norman in some shape or some way, shape, or form. This gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone hadn't pushed it in all the way. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letters? The envelope was addressed to Norman. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath and tore the, open the package. Norman, I'm sending this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this in person. What we did, well, it was wrong. My husband isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband and your friend. I need some time to sort this out away from you both. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to tell him. Norman, so don't you think you can hold that against me? Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure I'll even want to, but he deserves at least that much. Goodbye. Boom! Rachel's cheating on dude. Her husband, who has no name. So husband was told, has amnesia maybe, because he shot everybody? I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. Ooh, that ambiance, that... Ooh, soundtrack that we got. I held my breath as I approached my, our back door. I was terrified to step inside. Rachel is dead. It is getting painfully louder in my headphones. The house was painfully quiet. Pfft. Not according to this loud breathing in my ear. The only sound was my own breathing, raged and strained. Uh, oh, it's his breathing. I flicked the light switched by the door. The power was off. I can't even hear my own footsteps right now. The door to the basement was locked. Where had I put that damned key? There was a small pile of mail on the floor in the front of the mail slot. How long have I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card or credit card bill there. Did I open it? I ripped the bill open and it read, To my surprise, it said something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? We're gonna go upstairs. We're gonna find dead Rachel's dead body. I've got three floors to this house. I am rich. Because three story houses plus a basement, that is an expensive house. Or just a very tiny one. I had found the last missing piece of my wallet. The old photo of Rachel and I stared back at me, reminding me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? Yes. I replaced the photo in my wallet, feeling like I had a part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? You just read... Stolen Identity. I just got an achievement. Not sure if you guys saw it, but... Steam just said that I have the Stolen Identity... thing. Oh no, what if I was... Oh, that's worse. Our television. I had purchased it before I knew 
I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but then, but by then, it was too late. One more flight. Nope, there's a right. The door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. Mirror is broken. Our hallway mirror had been smashed, its pieces scattered around the floor. There's blood on that right one. To the bathroom. To the window. To the wall. Our sink, which needed to be replaced. One of the taps always stuck, but I hadn't gotten around to fixing it yet. The where we luck wait, were we lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw footed bathtubs? Wasn't a fan. I'm I'm st not wasn't, but I'm not a fan of those type of bathtubs because they're just too small, because I'm like six six, so whatever. Breathing in my ear. Oh, that computer is on. My laptop had been left on, and the only tiny bit of power left on the screen was a website about the old water tower. Where was, there was a key in the top of the drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Yes. I pocketed the key. Seriously, though, I'm getting a slight headache from how loud the breathing in my ear is. Which is not okay, and I'm pretty sure it's peaking my mic over me talking. It is. Jeez, that is crazy. Give me, like, five seconds here. Alright. That should be kind of better, but not totally. Bookcase. Books there were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I looked... Hey, now that I looked more closely, it looked like the man in that house had some of the same books as I did. My wife's Rachel's switch or Rachel's suitcase was sitting on the bed. It was closed, but I had a feeling what was in it. Did I open it? Yes. Rachel's suitcase contained clothes, toiletries, and a train tr or train ticket. Is this what we what you were going to do with Norman? Oh, leave with Norman kind of deal. So I found a key. Breathing is still really heavy in my ear. Which is crazy loud. Still almost peaking my mic above my own talking, which is stupid nuts. Was this... the right way to go? No, it wasn't. Was it down? Oh, it was the basement, right. What is this? There was old Christmas decorations in the box. Oh, that's just the box. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key here. Did I take it? Yes. I took the small key and tie or tried to remember what it unlocked. This box. There were old clothes, or clothing, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. I had put this up, or I had put up this divider wall last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet, so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through it if I found something heavy enough. So now I had to find something heavy enough and still deal with breathing in my ear. Fantastic. Love it. I remember having breakfast here on this very table. Was that yesterday or sometime before? Come on, a chair is heavy. Yeah, wouldn't it be? Why well, just let me pick up a chair? How about this armchair? How about this table? How about this sideways armchair? The front door was locked from the inside. I couldn't go out, though. I needed to see if Rachel was home. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything else. We're gonna go up one more floor, check that floor. Uh, so not there, not there. This one? We did go through this door, right? Okay, oh yeah, we did. The TV. Rachel was pretty angry about that, I realized. Maybe I had dropped it there? 
guy dropped dropped what there? Where's a thing? And I don't know. That was a weird message to pop up with nothing lighting up. Yeah, it is so loud in my headphones that it's feeding back to my mic a second time. Why? Why, Rachel? Were you really going to run away with Norman? Was I really such a monster? Yes. One book in particular seemed a bit odd. I remember owning it, but not that edition. Oh, wait. Check that book. No. I remember owning it, but not that edition. Okay, whatever. There's got to be something here that we can use to break down that wall. What exactly? I don't know. My whole laptop desk. Let's use that. Of course not. Check the bathroom one more time. Old house is charming for sure, but it wasn't always it wasn't always easy. Yes, yes, we already seen this. Bathtub. It seemed impractical at times, but it was part of what made that house home. Alrighty then. I have a gun that I could still bash the wall down with. I've got a knife. Or we're just not gonna talk about that. Oh, the grime key I had found in the basement unlocked that door. Okay. It looked like a room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did someone break in here? Or you fought with Rachel because she said that she- Hey, a crowbar. Yes, you do need to take that crowbar. Um, but you and Rachel probably got into a fight because she said she was going to leave you for Norman. Then he went on a killing spree of the whole town because it seems like everyone's just dead and no one has seen anyone for some whatever reason. My own thoughts just now. Don't worry about it. Granted, I'm probably right, but let's not talk about that. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes, indeed I did. With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a large hole enough, large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall beneath my, or my breath caught in my throat, this was it. Was Rachel down here? Is she okay? Don't look is scribbled on the wall. And there's a weird sound at the end of the room. Why did you quarter off this like section of the house to begin with when there's so much space? Don't look. Blood on the ground. The breathing is now getting louder in my ears along with like this weird sound. What is this? A filthy looking pile of rags have been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within them, but I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all the searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? If I say yes, then yes. What if I say no? Because yes would mean I, like that confirms everything I said, but what if I say no? What do we find? What do we find? The rags were wet, matted and covered dirt and grime, but inside that tattered mess was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion trying to figure out what to do next. If she wasn't there, where was she? What had I been searching for this entire time? I remembered the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then that awful realization hit me right in the gut. I'd been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there, and I won't find her any anywhere else because she was never there at all, was she? I stumbled back upstairs, the pain in my leg just a dull ache now, and sat down and my bedroom. My mind was spinning, and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion, 
and as I tried to grab a hold of something that would make sense of this, of all of this, I must have drifted off. I like to remember things my way. That's the achievement I just got. What is this? This is my mall, it, with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again, or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman store, that forest, the water tower. Was I at those places before? I could say no and then really change this whole story, but we're going to say yes. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been... I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents, but what does that mean? It was a photo of the other man, of the other man and his wife that I found in that house. Were those really his wife's remains in those tunnels? It certainly seems so. What did I think? Did those, did the other man murder his wife and bury her in those tunnels? What did I think? When we found the man at the beginning of the game, we saw him dead. I'm going to say no. I think somebody else killed both of them. I couldn't be sure he could have been another victim. After all, he was dead when I woke up. See, that's exactly what I'm saying. So what, now we're just going through the house of memories? In the filthy, in the dirty, faded glass, I looked like nothing more than a faint shadow. I used to tell myself that Rachel was the one who wanted to keep the tub. Was the key card I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through the fl er, through that door. It seemed to me that it was probably Norman's, but if that was true, what was he doing back at that plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? Sure. It must have been him. He must have been using the old locker room. The laptop had finally run out of power. So over the really heavy breathing in my ears, it took me a second to realize that Alexa was talking again, and I apologize. Really should fix that. Meaning the internet that she's attached to, but whatevs. It was a letter I had taken from the or post box. It had gotten a bit wet in the rain. But if, well, who wrote the letter then? Who was Norman seeing? Oh no, Norman. If I was wrong about Rachel, then what about him? Did I do that horrible thing to him? Kill him? So if we track back, Rachel tells Norman, or tells her husband about Norman and her. Rachel wasn't in the basement. So he goes over there, confronts him, everything's in a tussle. But how does he get, oh, maybe Norman already has the gun in his hands and then they like have a struggle and they shoot him? Maybe? I'm going to say no, though. I couldn't have. I clearly wasn't seeing things correctly, but no, I could never do something like that. That's what I'm saying. Tube TV. I had that old TV for so long, I don't know if I could repair it. Oh, now that's, like, big TV's gone from that room. My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to, or used a digital passcode lock that I try to open it. Oh, shoot. How many were, oh. No, that wasn't it, damn. I couldn't remember. I summarized that at least two of the names in that musty notebook had been recent victims. All right. 
those poor girls that found that I found in the in that dead forest. I wondered what happened to the other names in that list, or the ones scratched out on the desk in those wet tunnels. I'm still limping. Oh wait, we went that way. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. Sure, let's do it. Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but I had to take a last look. Oh, what's this? If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? No. There were other means of dealing with this. I wanted to end it. And I could do it. I could do it with that gun. No, you did not pick up the gun. Just the thought made my head spin. I left the gun on the cold basement floor. The wall was cracked and pitted. I was told by an inspector that the basement had been partially filled in before I bought the house. But by the look of it, or the look of that wall, I was going to need to fix the foundation. Everything smelled musty and old down there. So now... That's weird, though. Pile of mail on the floor. I now saw it was addressed to me. Bill's credit card offers a letter from the bank. They were all addressed to me. That was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in that house a moment longer. Did I leave and say goodbye to that nightmare forever? Yes. Since I had arrived in that town, things had been difficult. Working out in the plant, though, had been good for me. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that's when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense sometime after that, and my memories of what happened are still in flux. I suppose that is... I suppose that when Rachel came along. This night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that had happened, everything that I'd seen? You know, in a way, I almost wish I hadn't even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. What had happened to the other man I found in that old house? Had I killed him? Is that why I locked... Is that why I locked in that room? Why I was locked in that room? Or did you... And what was hidden with those sewers I had found? The tunnel to the man's house obviously led there. But was there something I missed? Was I busy worrying about Rachel that I was blind? And what happened, or what had I been doing at Norman's place or even in that old forest? It didn't look good, that's for sure. Had I been responsible for what had happened there? What do you think? Was I guilty, or was I just mad? Just for a second, though, think about something else. Think about those poor girls I had accidentally discovered in the old forest. The notebook I had found in those woods had names in it. Names that I think I saw somewhere else before. It couldn't have been me behind that, could it? I would never do such a thing to such sweet, innocent people. It wasn't clear, at least, that Norman had been going to the old plant. Had he been the one to seal up that room? Was he drinking up there alone? I thought perhaps he had something to do with that dead guard, but now that you've got me all mixed up, I'm not even seeing what makes sense anymore. I had to catch my breath to take in it all, or take it all in at each point until the factory things had only gotten worse, but then going to Norman's store, that's where the confusion and doubt started to set in. 
That's when my perspective on all things, on all this reality started to change. Damn it, Norman, what were you doing with Rachel? I mean, what was going on? If all this was a lie, then what was really happening? Someone had killed Norman in his store, but it wasn't me. Who else would have wanted him dead? But as painful as all of that was, oh no, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all I had seen and done, finally coming home was supposed to be the end of this entire ordeal. I had no idea, though, that it was only the beginning. The silence in the house when I first stepped through the kitchen door. That should have been my first clue, to think that I went through all of that completely, unaware of what I would discover. Do you know? Did you know before the end? Did you mock me when you finally showed me the truth? You don't know what it's like to have everything ripped away from you in a heartbeat. How could I possibly go on knowing what I... What I... Wait. How could I possibly go on knowing what I do? Without Rachel, even the thought of Rachel, I was truly lost. As the door swung open, I could smell damp grass and closeness of the air. After everything, I felt like I had one, or I had more questions than answers. You made me see the truth, I'll give you that, but now I was completely lost. You took away the only thing that had kept me going. I was sure word would get out, and soon enough, the police would come looking for me. And what then? Would you be there to show me the way? What will I do then? Okay, that was, uh, home. So, that was pretty weird at the end there. And I kind of assumed that we could choose what really goes on. And if you really want to dive deep into this and figure out exactly the whole story to this, go ahead. I'll put a link in the video description for you to try it out on your own. Um, that was just my playthrough. I assume from all the Steam achievements that I've been getting throughout the, the series of what's going on, of just the hour and a half that I've been playing it, um, that... There's a lot more to, to more to go. Home is dedicated, whatever it's at the end. I was talking during that whole time, so yeah. Homehorror.com at Benjamin Rivers, BenjaminRivers.com. Play again, quit to desktop, share your story, connect with us, and check out our other games. There you have it. Uh, if you liked the video and like to see my ugly mug on a daily basis, or semi-annual basis seeing i only release two videos a week right now please subscribe if you like the video leave a like so i know that you do actually enjoy what i do here if you have any questions comments concerns and or complaints there's a whole section down below for all that lovely biz and i hope to have your audience in the next video